streamer from Brazil, is regarded as the best mouse and keyboard player in Call of Duty Warzone. They even did a full write-up of his journey as a gamer, as he was packing his bags to prepare for the London land. I was told you were heading to the finals. I don't think so. No. No you're not. You're not going anywhere. He knew what was waiting for him at London. In streamer world, they think it's okay to cheat, but in the real world, there are consequences. Cheating in video games is a criminal offense in England. Remember that. With the London land hanging over his head, he had no choice but to admit to everything. This is a section of his official statement, translated from Portuguese. To see it in full, the link is in the description, where he discusses buying motherboards and chats about his Activision contacts. This week I got permanently banned on my main account for multiple logins and game data manipulation. I am already taking legal action, and my lawyers will stop slander against me. I couldn't play because I already have a hardware ID ban. The London Lawn is coming up, and I have three ranked accounts, and every one of them now has a hardware ID ban. I bought a spoofer to try to camouflage myself in the system and remove the ban. This didn't work, and Ricochet found me out. I could have gone to play in London with another ID because the tickets were already in our hands, including all the paperwork, and my hotel was all arranged and everything. This cheater is no stranger to playing on a stage. However, these so-called, quote-unquote, LAN events, were on a PC, and not console. Questions must now be asked, was this event even legitimate? Did he also use cheats installed on a flash drive, and simply clean the PC when he was finished? We have seen this before when Optic India were competing. Forsaken, actually renamed executable cheat loaders, and hid them inside a temporary folder, and called it, OG, aka, Optic Gaming. My friends, streamers cheat on LAN, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. This is why I've been fighting so hard behind the scenes, to get Guardian anti-cheat into the London LAN. When someone gets exposed for cheating, and then admits to it, everything must now be re-examined, including all his gameplay, LAN events and the $90,000 he had earned in prize money. But, you are not allowed to call him out for cheating. He plays 6 hours every day, and makes more money than a doctor. He demands everyone to stop hating on him, and he states he won't touch the subject again. The Brazilian Warzone player has removed all his videos from Twitch, except one, and that's from almost two weeks ago. However, you have to now subscribe to watch it. This is something I couldn't do. Remember, I catch rats, not feed them. He claims to own a website that sells Call of Duty accounts. However, a quick look at his partner website and lo and behold, after selecting Call of Duty, streamers are able to purchase anti-recoil scripts with rapid fire. There was an entire selection of scripts, including multiple macros to eliminate recoil. Accounts with everything unlocked. Looking at the macro script, it completely eliminates all recoil. This is how mouse and keyboard players have no recoil, such as Breadman, Natasha and Symphony. Please do not forget to like this video, it really does help spread its reach on YouTube. If you think my content is worthy of your subscription, hit that subscribe button below to show your support. Here is a montage he made from his own channel. He gained huge support from his fellow gamers, as if he was the victim, I am not joking. Here are a few of the comments of encouragement. How unfortunate Corolla. Move on from this. We had our indifference and friction in the past, but rooting against it was never a possibility. I was very happy for your rating, but got right straight with crooked lines, so focus on the future. Man, you are 100% transparent, recommendable attitude. It deserves higher flights just for that. I only heard about you at camps, but now you've gained a spectator.
you will be able to turn around. Welcome to 2023, Woke Zone. I came across accounts that are permanently banned from Warzone. But, I don't trust any of them. I have evidence of this streamer, even playing with teams, that have replaced them for the London finals, going back to Caldera. The entire thing just stinks. One gamer from Brazil, made an excellent point, when he stated that 90% of the players in Brazil cheat, but they wouldn't dare do this in the finals, which is why the competition level was terrible, because they couldn't play with their little robots. Did you really think you could try and steal, 1.2 million dollars? You're not going anywhere, and wipe that smirk off your face. You will join your friends for disqualification, how dare you? Tell me, what's the secret that you've been hiding? And who's gonna take my place? I should have seen it coming. I should have read the signs anyway. I guess it's over. Can't believe.